hi guys so welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i put on my primer foundation and set with my powder so stay tuned so i'm going to be using a primer i'm also going to mix it in with a bit of sheer glow illuminator because i really want that natural glue to keep true under my skin foundation now I actually use two tools to do my foundation application I use a foundation brush just to make sure I get it everywhere spread it out evenly and then I go in with the makeup blender HCM blender so that I can really smooth it out um, the inner portions where I would need more coverage and then I slowly move it. So now that I know you I've gotten I forget the tip of your nose. Now that I believe I've gotten it everywhere that's on my neck. I go in now and just lightly do my eyes. Because we are gonna go in with primer eventually on my eyes. So now that I've finished applying it with the brush, I'm going to go in with the slightly damp beauty blender and smooth it out. Just so I don't see brush strokes and for that extra press into the skin. Cleared up. Mine has. I was seriously allergic to a hair product that I was using. Um, I'm allergic to sulfates and it was my error. I read the shampoo bottle and it said no sulfates, but I didn't read the other products that I bought, so like the conditioner and leave in hair treatments. Uh, they did contain sulfates. And wherever my hair touched my skin, I broke out and my scalp was like really, really irritated. So I switched all product and my scalp and skin are back to normal. So now that I've pressed the foundation in, smooth it out, I'm actually going to go in now with a bit of contour. So, I'm going in with our HCM palette. This is the cream contour palette, so the shades are applicable for all skin types. So I am going in with the highlight shade and the contour shade, and I will do a bit of bronzing as well with the cream. So firstly, I'll highlight. I am using a Morphe Nose Contour Brush, um, simply because it gives me a more precise application in terms of placement. So I am going to be using the mirror on the palette which makes it really good for being travel friendly. I do love cream contouring um, but I do going as well with the powder contour just to set. I do have dark under eyes once I don't sleep properly, drink sufficient water, yeah, it really peeps through. 
Uh, I've just accepted it. So that is what it is. I don't really fuss anymore. I'll be overly concerned about it. So I just lightly highlight my forehead. Um, I am happy with how I look. I just do it around my nose because it tends to be a bit red. So I am going to blend out the highlight first and then I'll go in and do the contour uh, simply because I don't want to accidentally touch the contour area with the beauty blender and then muddy the highlight. So I go in and I lightly press. I do have fine lines as well under my eyes. So I have prepped my skin with moisturizer and I did use my under eye cream. So I cleanse, tone, moisturize and definitely added my under eye serum. I mean, even with serum on Sundays, those fine lines still peep through, but it is what it is. I blend it going out so that you don't see this harsh line of highlighter. Now, if you do find that it looks a bit Harsh and the transition in isn't quite smooth. What you can do is I've used the bottom, the bottom of my beauty blender in order to smooth out the foundation. So you can always go back in, which is the residue of the foundation on the bottom, and just blow out the edges. Another nose contour brush from Morphe, but I'm gonna use this one now to put in the contour as well as to add a bit of the cream bronzer. So I don't go in and change the shape of my nose, but I do love to see a defined nose. It just completes this look and I carry it all the way up to my eyebrow to connect everything. So I just pick up a teeny bit of the contour and do the rest of my forehead. I also go in with a bit of the bronzer. I just add like to the tip. the beach we were actually supposed to go to the beach and yeah we have a good weather so no beach all right i'm gonna go in follow with the powder contour so that i, I can always set the contour as well as to just complete application of it. I remember first doing my makeup class and it's like this contouring thing was so intimidating because um, it's so easy to mess up because you can totally change the shape of your face just with highlights and contour 
but I love how it brings that look together, especially when you're doing pictures. So I'm gonna just take a contour brush. I'm going with a bit of the powder from our HCM contour palette. This is the palette in the shade Fair. So I'm just gonna lightly set the contour. And also just define it a little bit better. So it's always carried into your heel and just a bit so you don't see the contour and then color your scalp. And then where I bronzed, I'm gonna go back in with the powder bronzer and I'm just gonna lightly bronze because I'm gonna do wash as well. So I don't set the highlight with that, I would set it with our HCM banana powder with the same down beauty blender. So I'm just gonna lightly press the powder in. And it really sets up. So even if I'm wearing a mask, my makeup stays put. I don't do too much at a time because, like I said, I have fine lines. And I don't want it to be pronounced. Well, I do have them. No need to exaggerate it. And I also don't bake. powder off a little bit further than where I actually highlight it. So now I can actually go in with the powder brush and I am going to dust off the excess as well as also apply a bit of our translucent powder everywhere else. Now our powders are finely milled to give you that really nice airbrush finish. I really want a nice flush pink look. If you know me, you know I love blush. So today I'm using the HCM, sorry, powder just fell all over it. HCM blush in the shade Cheeky. So if you can see, it's a nice rosy pink. So I'm going in with the brush and just lightly because these are also triple nil and highly pigmented. So a little bit and you build. I may not necessarily do my eyes, maybe just mascara, liner, and that's it. So I carry the blush up just a bit to sort of fuse that contour and highlight. I do love blush, <laughs> sorry. 
so now I'm gonna just go in. Yeah, I think that that's enough. <laughs> and I'm gonna set with our setting spray. So our HCM setting spray is really fine mist. And it has a light scent, but it it goes away, it doesn't last that long. And it helps your makeup not to melt, not to move, so that you get that prolonged wear throughout the day. Your makeup would not fade. I do go overboard. And I just really love to know that everything is in place. So that's it for my face. What I am um, totally complete with the look then I would go in and do my highlighter so I hope you enjoyed how I apply my complexion products so from primer, foundation, setting powder, contour, both with cream and powder contour as well as the application of blush so do enjoy the rest of your day.